Hey, so today we're talking about what is Rust and why you should learn it in 2021. We spoke about this in a video last year. So last time we said that Rust was the most loved language on Stack Overflow. And this year is no different. It's still ranking at the top for most loved language. The main benefits of the language remain the same. It's still a multi-paradigm language where you can write your code in object-oriented programming style or functional style or a combination of these. The main benefits of Rust are the zero level abstraction. So you're not getting um, some unnecessary abstraction in the code when it compiles. It also has no garbage collector, which means that at runtime it's very quick and all of the memory and memory handling is done by the programmer. Now you're probably thinking that's like C++ where you get into the issue of memory management, but with Rust it's much different. A lot of that is handled for you. It has a very good compiler with a great borrow checker. And what this does, it checks your code and makes sure that you don't have any of these memory issues that you would have in C++. The greatest benefit of this is that when you write your code, it's when it compiles, it's very likely to run and to run well. It also means you get that extra speed of not needing garbage collection and your code is generally written in a way that is uh, quite readable and usable and maintainable, which is also very important. One of the biggest differences from last year is a lot of the crates, which are libraries in Rust, have come to maturity lately. Libraries like Tokio, which is an asynchronous library for Rust for doing asynchronous programming, have come to maturity and released their version one, which means you're getting a lot more stability now with the libraries that you use. And since Rust is actually quite a small standard library, you rely on a lot of these extra libraries on top to get a lot of functionality that you need. So the fact that they're becoming uh, stable is a very big thing and very important for the longevity of the language. So I believe it's here to stay and it's here to make a big impact. And another reason I'm saying this is lately the expanded use of Rust among a lot of large companies. So to give examples for this, Amazon recently announced that they have developed a Rust team and a lot of their AWS um, software is written in Rust. This is not surprising because of libraries like Tokio and Rust ability to be asynchronous and concurrent and very fast. It makes perfect sense that you would pick Rust. Microsoft also joined the Rust Foundation. It's a group responsible for maintaining Rust and making sure that it uh, continues to develop as a language. And the fact that a big company like Microsoft are helping out there it shows their um, enthusiasm and willingness to help the language grow. Beyond that, we have Google writing Rust code in its operating system, Fukisha. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they're extensively using Rust in a lot of the code there. And this is on low level, kernel level. So the fact that it's being used there is quite impressive. And that's the other benefit of Rust is that you can write low level code, but you can also write high level abstraction. Beyond that, Rust is very good for things like blockchain, which is another space that is growing extremely fast at the moment. A lot of uh, Ethereum contracts and many other blockchains are written in Rust, actually. And the reason for this is because you have that memory safety. So you're getting the safety that you need, but you're also getting the memory management and the speed. And so this is just the perfect combination for uh, the blockchain space. Another great news, we have it being added to the Linux kernel. And recently there's been some, uh, a lot of exciting news with Rust making its way into Linux. This is also very important and shows the range of things that you can actually do with Rust and how it's actually expanded since last year. So I advise anyone who's thinking about learning Rust to go ahead. If you're say a JavaScript developer, Rust can be a great complement. It can help you do some things on the back end that maybe JavaScript is lacking on. Or if you wanted to just write that, something that needs to be super efficient, super fast, uh, you could write it in WebAssembly, interop with your JavaScript code, and you can have in your browser Rust running alongside your JavaScript. So it's not a, the replacing all of your existing knowledge, but you can use it to complement it. Beyond this, there are other small benefits, like the community is very open. You can post things on the Discord, on the Reddit chat, and people are generally open and enthusiastic to help out. Um, since the community is still quite small, means you get a lot of engagement, especially from people who really know what they're talking about, which can be great for new developers who want to come in and learn the language. You have access to all these resources and such a great community. So yeah, I'll leave link to some great resources below. Um, I advise starting with the Rust book, you know, get pick it up, have a look, see what you make of the language. I know personally, I'll be continuing to code in it anyway.